In 1967, the zombies break up. In 1968, Odyssey and Oracle with Time of the Season is released, and its reception was poor. However, the single for Time of the Season became a massive hit in the United States of America and would go on to become a rock and roll classic. This story has got everything, egos, breakups, Abbey Road, and yes, of course, as usual, the Beatles. This is the story of Time of the Season. An opening as iconic and memorable as We Will Rock You and Come Together, The Zombies' Time of the Season is a song that strives to encapsulate the spirit of the late 60s. It is songs like this that let people like me, who never existed during that time, catch a glimpse into the lives of those that did. Written by keyboardist Rod Argent rather quickly before bringing it into the studio, the song formed not without its few shares of hiccups, arguments, and playfulness. First, that distinctive clap and breath effect was actually a eureka moment for Rod Argent while listening to Time of the Season's backing track. Rod says, that little clap in front of the snare and then the ah uh that comes after it, we rehearsed it without that. We put it down and because we had extra tracks, I said, do you know what? I can hear this mouth percussion thing. So I just zoomed into the studio and did it. That was it. It was just absolutely at the moment, you know? But not all goes well when you take a song to the recording studio that fast. Lead singer Colin Blundstone was struggling with the high note for the line, When Love Runs High. And Rod Argent was giving constructive feedback on how he liked his phrasing. Rod says he was very, very picky about the phrasing of his songs. And he gently said to Colin, It's not quite right. Can you do this? Well, Colin got a bit offended and responded, If you're so fucking good, you can come here and do it. Colin actually reminisces about their little spat, saying, It was written in the morning before we went into the studio in the afternoon, and I kind of struggled with the melody. Rod and I had quite a heated discussion, he being in the control room and me singing the song, and we were just doing it through my headphones. Because it had only just been written, I was struggling with the melody. It makes me laugh, because at the same time I'm singing, It's the time of the season for loving. We're really going at one another. Even songs about love can have their moments of anger. But this was actually a less stressful recording situation than the zombies had experienced up until that point, aside from the fact that their budget was rather low for Odyssey and Oracle. Two months after the Beatles had completed Sgt. Pepper's, the zombies came in. They wanted to produce their album themselves because although they considered their previous producer, Ken Jones, to be very talented, he was just too old school for them, as he insisted on trying to make every song sound as close to the zombies' earlier big hit, She's Not There. But the band had moved on from those songs. They were growing. Rod says, Ken Jones would never let us stay for the mix. I remember leaving the session and all of us thinking, that sounds fantastic. We went down to the pub and then came back about three hours later when he had mixed it. And I remember thinking, has anybody else come in and recorded this? It was just not as we remembered it. So we got very frustrated with that. But to Ken's credit, when the band expressed that they wanted to part ways with Ken Jones, not only did he say he would aid them in self-producing, he even used his networking to get them to record at the legendary Abbey Road Studios. Recording at Abbey Road Studios proved to be an incredible experience as it was a state-of-the-art recording destination. Rod says, It was immediately good. We also used the engineers that the Beatles had been using. We didn't specify them, but we got Peter Vince and Jeff Emmerich, and they were absolutely wonderful. We felt that we were getting the best sound that we had up until that point, and it all felt very natural. That really was liberating for us. We had access to more tracks, courtesy of the Beatles. The fact that the zombies felt like kids in a candy store really speaks towards the team behind the Beatles. Not only were the Beatles and the zombies fantastic songwriters and musicians, but here we can see the difference between having people who support you exploring with music and people who want to pigeonhole you into something you are not. And a hilarious little story that I just have to tell you is you know how Odyssey is misspelled on the album cover? Well, Rod has always said it was a deliberate play on words, but it wasn't. He lied. And decades after the album was released, Rod actually came clean about the whole thing. They had their artist friend, Terry Quirk, draw a mock-up for the album cover, and upon first inspection, they loved it. But later, the zombies came to find out it was misspelled, but had already gone to print, Rod says. 
So I immediately made up this story, and in fact, I even told Colin that it was a play on words, sort of a collection of songs, a collection of odes, which was actually a journey, which is the odyssey part, but I mean, that was a load of bollocks, really. I actually admitted this. It might have been as late as about 2000 or further on, with Colin in the room when I was doing an interview. Colin looked at me in complete amazement, and he said, you never told me that. I love that. It's a bit embarrassing, but it really is history at this point. Time of the Season is an incredible song, but I have to say Odyssey and Oracle is by far one of my favorite albums of all time. I do believe that the zombies are right up there with the Beatles and the Beach Boys, and the music is still enchanting new and young listeners like me all over the world. And speaking as a songwriter who may not make the most sellable songs, I just have to leave you with this quote from Rod Argent. He says, when I've written songs, I never tried to make them fashionable in the sense of making them sound like whatever else is around at that moment. He wrote songs that he wanted to hear. I really respect that. If you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. My videos will always be free and this is a great way to help me make them better for you. Check out my debut album, The Holly Hobbs, on Spotify and Apple Music, and click the like button, subscribe, and notification bell because that is the best way to get notified when a new video is released. See you next time.